11 funny and inspiring kids and adults calling 911. The saying goes, kids should be seen but not heard. This is especially true when your kids are telling on you to the cops. In this video, we'll be looking at some of the funniest and most adorable 911 calls made by kids and adults. Who needs those cameras at traffic lights when you've got those chatty kids? Funny Dispatcher in this 911 call, the operator asks a seemingly time-wasting mother if she would like to send the police around to shoot her daughter, only to get an angry mother shouting back at him and threatening to write a formal complaint. We think this operator is somewhat of a legend. The 12-year-old is completely out of control and I, I can't, I physically, if she's as big as I am, I can't control her. Okay, did you want us to come over to shoot her? Are you there? Excuse me? Uh, that's a joke. Okay, that's not funny, Mike. I'm and sorry. Guess what? I'm going to file a formal complaint. I'm sorry. I apologize. Well, Hold sorry on. doesn't Hold cut on it. On I need a Four-year-old saves mother. Mila, a four-year-old girl in England, saved her mother's life when she fainted and fell downstairs and cracked her head open. If her four-year-old daughter hadn't called 999, it would have probably been a very different story for the mother, who had been unconscious for 40 minutes. Mila later got to go and meet the dispatcher who took her emergency call and was given an award. Hello, you've got the police. I'm um, level 36. You live at 36? 36, where? Yeah. Is, is your mum with you? Yeah. Yeah, can you put your mum on the phone? <laughs> Is there any grown ups there? Daddy's at work. Is there anybody with you? Um, I'm a little boy, and he's two years old. Your little brother's two years old, okay. Is your mummy yeah. Pooley? Yeah. Yeah, what's happened? Her head has a big bleeding. A head has a big bleed, okay. Can you can you tell us where you are? Do you know your address? We're at home. You're at home. What's your name? Nila. Nila. And what's your second name, Nila? Um, my dog's called Max. Your dog's called Max? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, then... So, is, is your door open? I think so. You think so, right. And so, where's your mum at now? Is she on the floor? Um, yeah, she's on the stairs. She's at the bottom of the stairs? Yeah. Right, okay. What's your mum called? Ellen. Ellen, okay mm -hmm. then. Is there a lot of blood? Um, just a little bit. Just a big, little bit of blood. Just a little bit of blood. Okay. Right. There's police. There's police outside, Nella. Can you open the front door? Yeah. Yeah. Can you go and open the open the door and talk to the policeman? Oh, oh there. Okay. Yeah. That, that's fine. I'm pretty. You can clear that down now. Lotto overload. In this 911 call by an elderly lady, something isn't quite right. Yes, that's right, this gorgeous old lady gave her mailman a scratch card, only to realise he had won a fortune and so proceeded to knock him out before realising that was wrong and calling the emergency services. Again. 
three-year-old Sophia Harmon. Sophia's mother was painting in the family kitchen one day when a heart condition made her fall and knock herself unconscious. With just three-year-old Sophia being there, she knew exactly what to do. For 40 minutes, she spoke with the British 999 operators. Sophia was later given a medal for her bravery by Essex Police, along with some big teddies and a box of chocolates, which we presume she found much more interesting. Mrs. Murphy. Hello? Hello. Hello, darling. Where's Mummy? She's fell over. She's fell over, is she? And painting. She was doing painting and she's fallen over? Yeah. Right, OK. Hang on a second. Mummy, She's fainted and fallen on the floor, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Is there anyone else there apart from you and Mummy? Um, no. And what's your name? Um, Sophia. Sophia. Well done, Sophia. Listen to me. You are the cleverest yeah. little girl I know. But I'm scared. I'm, you're not scared, Sophia, because listen, you are the bravest little girl I've ever spoken to and you're doing so well and you're talking to me and you don't need to be scared. Okay. How old are you? Um, six. You're three, are you? Okay, good girl. Yeah. You're doing absolutely fantastic, all right? Okay. We're not going to be long now, and I'm going to get some help for Mummy, okay? Why my dog keeps barking? Your dog keeps barking. He's ever so naughty, doesn't he? Keep barking yeah. like that. That's my dog. You've done so well, Sophia. Your mum is going to be so proud of you. Yeah. You're such a clever girl. Has she told you what to do if this ever happens to her? Yeah, I know. Mummy? Mummy? Is Mummy still on the floor? Yeah. Mummy's still on the floor, but she's all right because you're talking to me, all right, and you're not scared, are you? No. No, because you're doing such a great job talking to me. Yes. Right, in a minute, Sophia, listen, there might be a big bang on your front door in a minute, okay, so don't be frightened. I'll open the door in a minute. That's banging is the, is the ambulance man coming through the front door, listen. Don't be frightened. Just stay on the yes, phone to me. They're coming to help Mummy, all right? So don't be frightened. Oh, they're in. They're in, thank God. Hello? Hello, this is Judy from the control room. So what do you say to me to get there? Hello, all right, she's fine. Yeah, I'm a partner. I'm a partner. Oh, thank God for that. She has done so well, honestly. I've been on the phone to her. You, you listen, your little girl deserves an absolute medal. Pure racism comedy. For this call, a man rings in to say he has spotted a fugitive wanted by the US government, namely Steve Stevens, the Cleveland shooter. When the operator asks him to describe the man, things get interesting. Hi, uh, yeah, I'm uh, on the 75 and I think that I might have uh, uh, identified Steve Stevens, the, the, the Cleveland shooter. Okay, sir, how are you able to identify the suspect? Well, uh, he seems to be driving that described Ford Fusion, but the license plate is covered up. Uh, and the driver, what does the driver look like? Uh, he's bald. Um, he has a, a, a beard. Uh, seems to be wearing a, a, a sweater of, of some kind, maybe. Okay, I'll need a little bit more than that. Uh, what color is his beard? Black, his beard's black. And his eyes? Brown, uh, maybe hazel. Okay, you're sure they're not blue? No, they couldn't be blue. Okay, can you describe his skin? Color, please. Well, um, you know, seems to have pretty good skin. Uh, pretty blemish-free. Seems pretty uh, take care of himself. Maybe uses proactive. Okay, sir. I need more than that. What is the skin tone? Yeah, you know, it looks pretty toned. He, he probably uses some astringent of, of some kind. No tone, color, skin color. What's his race? Well, uh, I that that took a, a weird turn. Sir, I just need you to describe the suspect. Well, his skin color, uh, if you have to ask, apparently we live in a world where we have to ask about that. Oh, you see everything through the prism of skin color. It's, it's a dark white. I don't even know what that means, sir. Dark white skin. What? Take the shade of white, darken it. Good few shades. Okay, sir, I'm not sure that I follow. Black! Okay! The suspect is black! Is that what you want to hear? He's black! Okay, please note that the caller did not use the proper term with person of color. Oh, piss off! Let me get dressed! 
Five-year-old Savannah was at home one day when her dad suddenly had chest pains and trouble breathing, usually the signs of a heart attack. So, Savannah called 911 for her dad and did a great job, along with also being deeply concerned about the medics seeing her in her pajamas and insisting she must first get dressed. Um, my dad can't hardly breathe. Okay, hold on a second, okay? Okay. How old are you? I'm five years old. Okay, what's your name? Savannah. Okay, Savannah, hold on. I'm getting them dispatched, okay? Okay. You need to come real fast. Okay, Savannah, I have them on the way. Is your daddy still awake? Yeah. Okay. Is your front door unlocked, Savannah? Uh, is your front door unlocked? No. Okay, Savannah, can you go unlock that front door for me? Sure. Okay. Okay, we need to Don't worry, Dad. Can you ask him if this has ever happened before? Has this ever happened? No. So far, so good. He's so awake. Hey, ask him if he has any kind of chest pain. Do you have any chest pain? Yes. Okay. This is his first time. Okay. I got him on the way, so... Okay. We're in our jammies. And I'm in a TikTok, so I'll have to get dressed. Okay. I know what I'm going to wear, but he really needs to talk to them real fast. Yes, he goes on walk. Okay. Okay. So he's still doing okay, Savannah? Yeah, he's okay. Okay. I'll be, I'll be in my room, and I'll be putting on, um... I Say, Savannah, I want you to stay there with your daddy, okay? Okay. I need you to make sure that he stays awake, so... Oh, okay. I got that. And we have a dog that's really um, small. Is, so he's friendly? He's friendly. Okay. He kind of barks. He kind of barks? That's all right, though. No, come on. Damn, we have to on the way. Come on, Lulu. Come here. Is your dad okay still? Yeah. Okay. So far, so good. Stay calm, Dad. Homework help. It's not every day a child rings 999 for help with their homework, but this emergency service operator was more than willing to help. Do you think this one is real or fake? We're not sure. It just sounds too scripted. 911 emergency. Yeah, I need some help. What's the matter? What's my mask? Was it your mouth? No, it's my mask. I have to do it. Will you help me? Sure. Where do you live? No, it's my mask. Yeah, I know it. Where do you live, though? No, I want you to talk to me on the phone. No, I can't do that. I can send someone else to help you. Okay, um... What kind of mask do you have that you need help with? I have, I have takeaways. Oh, you got to do the takeaways? Yeah. All right, what's the problem? Um, you have to help me with my mask. Okay. Tell me what the mask is. Okay, 16. Yeah. Take away 8. Uh huh. This what? You tell me, how much do you think it is? I don't know, 1. No. How old are you? I'm only 4. 4? Yeah. Yeah. What's another problem? That was a tough one. Um. Oh, here's one. Five take away five. Five take away five. And how much do you think that is? Five. Darling, what are you doing? You're playing the mask off of me right now. Why did I tell you about playing on the bed? I swear, mother. You can't do that. I didn't mean to play. Demolish my school. This eight-year-old girl from Dublin called Becky wants her school demolishing, so she called a demolition company and the call is very amusing. Hello, Mr. Cor. Hi, is that the demolition place? It is, yes. Could you help me to destroy my school, please? Just bear with me a second. Hello? Hi. Boy, what school do you go to? I go to a school in Dublin. And you want it demolished? Yeah. 
Do you use a big wrecking ball or we how do you knock it down? A big ra- a big ball. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, hold on one wee second, please. <laughs> Hello? How are you? My name is Becky. Yes? I have a proposal for you. Go ahead. Are you the demolition man? Yes. You're the top boss, yeah? Go ahead. What's the crack? Hello? I want you to to help me destroy my school. You want to blow it up? Can you blow it up or knock it down? Whatever, whatever, whatever you want done. I'll blow it up. That would be better. <laughs> Can you make sure that all my teachers are in there when you knock it down? I don't know if I get away with that now. I uh, well, nobody likes them. <laughs> they give me extra homework on a Friday and everything. <laughs> where are you calling from? From Dublin. Where, 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 what school in Dublin? The one that's about to fall down. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of schools in Dublin about to fall down. And how much would it cost to knock it to the ground? It depends how big it is. Give me a ballpark finger. <laughs> finger. Give me a ballpark finger. Oh, Jesus. Is this a demolition company or a joke factory? It's a joke factory at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, are you going to come and knock my school down or what? Ah, well, Shirley, can you fax me through your photograph or, or, or a site plan or something? Right, I'll fax you through a plan of the school and my teacher's names. Yeah, no problem, yeah. And you just make sure that they're all in the building when you knock it down. You put all their names on it. I'll give you a page for each individual yeah. teacher. Brilliant. Yeah. When the school falls down, will it make a crash or a wallop? Just say hi in Belfast and make a big bang. Sounds good. Oh, listen, I'll talk to you later, top man. Sound. Good luck. Hey, you look after for that. Fill your boots, man. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> See you after. <laughs> Late for school. Kieran, a five-year-old boy from England, rang 999 when his mother fell over. Being an amazing young man, scared, he still knew exactly what to do and possibly saved his mum's life. He later received a reward from his local police station and met the paramedics who saved his mother. Is your mummy talking to you? No. She's not talking to you. Has she got her eyes open? She, she, she's blinking and she does have her eyes open. She's got her eyes open, has she? Kyron, can can you take the phone to Mummy? Did you do you think you've banged your head? Um, no, but my head's hurting anyway. All right, my darling. Well, your little boy's done a really good job. Okay, we've got an ambulance on its way to you. <laughs> are you all right? <laughs> Kyron, are you back on the phone now? Yeah. Hi. Are you all right to keep your eye on your mummy? Yeah. She's a little bit upset, so I think she could do with a big cuddle. I'm going to get Mama Teddy. She's a little bit cold. Can you get her a blanket? Yeah, I've got her a blanket already. You've got her a blanket, have you? Okay. Yeah, yeah you... I'm about to go to school and I'm going to be late. You're going to be late for school? Yeah. Don't worry about school, sweetheart. They will understand. Do you think you can get the key with the, with the step? You'll be very careful. Why? I, I missed it. You've missed it. Have you got a brush so you can knock it off? Okay. I've got the key. Oh, marvellous. This is what I'm used to look at. So let me look it down. Good lad. Are you going to put it in the door and unlock it for me? I unlock it. All right. Don't open the door yet, sweetheart, because it's very cold. I want you to go and sit by Mummy. Okay. okay. And how long was Mummy asleep for before she opened her eyes? I think she was there for five minutes with her 
eyes closed. Did you phone us straight away? Oh uh, yeah, I was trying to wake her up and yeah. I called 999. Excellent. Who taught you how to do that? Mummy, when she didn't clap. So, what's your name? Kyron. Kyron, and why have we been here today? Because I called 999. Wow, and what have you? What have we given you for doing that? A medal and an award. And do you like it? Yeah. Fab. And what is it you've got in your hands? I've got some badges. And who are they for? The paramedics. Do you want to give them to you then? Thank you very much. <laughs> thank, thank you, you. Kyron. Yes, sweet boy, <laughs> thank you. And why have you given our paramedics a badge? Because they gave me my award and my certificate. And did you want to say thank you? Yeah. That's very kind of you. Mummy's asleep. Four-year-old Lexi Cooper found her 25-year-old mother unconscious on the floor. So she switched on the TV for her one and two-year-old sister and brother, then proceeded to ring 999. Lexi was later given an award for her courage. Hello. Hello, what's the problem? It's the police. My mum. Your mummy just sleep? My mum. Where, where do you because live? Because my dad's at work. Okay, where do you live? Can you tell me where you live? Or oh, what's your name? What? Can you, can you tell me your name? Um, Lexi. Lexi? Are yeah. You, and is there anybody else in the house, Lexi, other than you and your mum? I have a brother and sister. It's a Harry and Amelia. And how old are they? Um, Amelia is two. Amelia's two. Amelia's two and how old is Harry? No, Amelia's one and Harry's two. Right, okay. And your mum's asleep? Yes. Have you tried to wake her up? Mum! Pete, have you tried pinching her on her ear? Hello? Yes? Have you tried pinching her on the ear? I did then, but she didn't wake up. She's not woke up? No. Try shouting, wake up, Mummy, sit down your ear. Wake up, Mummy! Good girl. Say again. Wake up, Mummy! She not waking she up. wake up. Is she not? No. Okay, we're gonna get we're gonna get somebody to you, Lexi. Mm. Where is your mummy? At home! In my bedroom, mine and Amelia's bedroom. Your bedroom? Yeah. My shelf's falling down. What, darling? My shelf's falling down on my mum. Shel the shelf has fallen down on your mum? Yeah. Okay, and where is it now? Where is the shelf? She's in my bedroom. Okay. We will get somebody out to help you, Lexi. You're doing so well. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. You're doing really well. What's your mummy's name? Do you know? What? What's your mummy's name? Do you know? Nikki. N Nikki? Yeah. What's your last name? My name. What's your last name, Lexi? Do you know? Um, Cooper. Cooper? Yeah. And did you say Daddy's at work? It's Lexi Cooper. Okay, Lexi Cooper. Is Dad at work? Is Daddy at work? Yeah. Yeah, okay, you've done so well for ringing 999. I'm really proud of you. 
you stay on the phone to me, okay? We've got police, police, yeah. police ladies and policemen that are going to come round and help you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So where is your brother and sister? Um, at home as well. Try, try shouting to mummy again for me. Mummy! She's not waking up. No. Lexi, just touch mummy's hand. Is she cold or is she warm? My mum's still a bit warm. Lexi, go to the front door for me. Is there, is a police officer there? I'll go to the front door. Okay. Open that thing. I can easily get over it. Good girl. My brother and sister. My sister's a bit big. Is she? Yeah. My brother. I'm bigger than my brother and sister. My brother's a bit big. I'm by the front door. Good girl. Can you see anybody there? No. No. Right, stay on the phone to me then. Yes. Let me see someone. I'll... Alright, yeah. let's go. Not now, <coughs> How long has your mummy been asleep, Lexi? Do you know? Hello? Lexi? Hello, Hello? 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 What do you want to okay. say? Okay. All right then. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good girl. Does nine one one really work? Santi Fay Wallen, a kindergartner, learnt how to call nine one one during safety week at school, and she wanted to make sure it worked, so she called them three times. The operator was careful with the little one, given as she didn't want to scare her in case there was ever an emergency and she'd be too frightened to call. As it is mandatory to send a deputy to the house for safety, the girl ran out and hugged the officer in amazement and excited that it really worked. But when the officer left, the little girl was scared as she thought she might come back and arrest her. I thought she would come back and take me to jail. <laughs> Where do you go to school? At kindergarten. Did they tell you about 911 today? Yeah. They did. Okay. Well, you sure did pay attention today, didn't you? Mm -hmm. What's your papa's name? I just knew they called Papa. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.